hello guys uh, welcome back so in last video you should be at this point zombies should, should uh, come near the player and start attacking okay in this video we will add uh, damage to the player when the zombie is attacking okay to add damage, uh, we will go by the previous method itself. Okay, open the montage. And and add a notify. We'll add a new notify. Name it as attack. And position, is, position it exactly where the attack starts. Okay, this is where uh, high chances of reaching the player. So we'll keep it here and similarly for the other montage also okay this is where it can hit the player okay now uh, we have to set the code for uh, this go to your anim bp event graph uh, okay, anim notify graph you can put it here here so add this event again we will we have to check uh, whether uh, the zombie reference is valid or not this is just to uh, avoid uh, some errors while playing So on, on both the uh, montages we will uh, get the location uh, from uh, right hand. So this will be our start location and end location and radius I am setting it to uh, 60 and object types and uh, set this to font so that it, it attacks the font and actors to uh, ignore okay, we have ignore cell so this is not required okay So we can put this here so that uh, all the zombie characters are uh, not affected by the attack. And we have to add the interface. We already created the damage interface which we have in our uh, player character. So I will just add that interface and add a branch here. So break it and hit actor okay, take the hit actor and look for damage and we have uh, already set the damage types so we will we have to add zombie attack as one more uh, uh, type so it's in advanced character large i don't think so type have some data enum and 
Okay, I think I kept it in the game files. Blueprint enum. Yep. Damage type. So add one more damage type here. Zombie attack. Okay. So select select zombie attack here. And uh, damage value again. Uh, th there is one way you can uh, set uh, different uh, uh, characters for each zombie, and you can pass the damage value here. For time being, I'm just giving it as 20. So each hit uh, will reduce 20 uh, uh, character points. And and bone also, I am setting it to spine two. And uh, impulse and hit location, we are leaving it as empty. Now let's see how it works. Okay, it's not okay. So on the player character, I haven't uh, connected the zombie attack thing. So we'll go to the player character, and I think it's in. Weapon graph. Okay. Damage even. So we have one more uh, uh, thing, uh, one more branch for zombie attack. So we will put that logic here. So it will be almost similar to the other logics. We can just connect it to anything. I think uh, better I will add it to uh, this one. But if you want something specific to happen, uh, we can put that uh, logic here. Okay, now if you see the health is reducing. Okay, maybe uh, we can add a, a sound note here uh, so that whenever the actor is hit, he'll give a, a Nice. So, and add a sequence here. And one, let it be there. Uh, let it be connected to uh, thing. And on two, I'll place down that location. So location. So this is just a dummy node. So you can put whatever logic here. Uh, 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 anything you want to happen to the actor specifically when it is being hit you can even add a, a montage here uh, to show that it is being hit uh, let me try so i downloaded a, a animation file for hit just to show you know uh, how you can add things here so this is the animation so whenever it is being hit this will play this montage and I will create a montage out of it create an name montage and on the montage we just want uh, specific slots to be played let's create slot Fine. Again, this is to your uh, liking only. So uh, add it if you require this. So on the player character, instead of uh, play sound, I will add uh, this. Thing. So this is how uh, the hit reaction will look like. We can enhance this further by adding uh, 
play sound node also and on the attack uh, montage of the zombie character also we can add some sounds i have downloaded some sound files from uh, freesounds.org so it will be something like in this the song something like this so create a queue out of it add the other uh, sound files to it add a random node so here we will add the sound this sound select our cube here Similarly on the other montage also. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, this looks fine. So as of now, we have a, a zombie chasing us, attacking the player. So zombie can mantle also, depending on the height and follow the player. In next video, we will see uh, about how we can damage the zombie character uh, with the weapons which we have created already. Thanks for watching. Bye.